Hey guys, I'm back for another video and welcome to another Minecraft plugin tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Core Protect, the single best anti griefing plugin in all of Minecraft. For those of you guys that don't know what Core Protect is, it is a really efficient way to undo damage done by griefers. So, yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. I'm really excited. And again, if you want to install this plugin, all you have to do is plop the jar into your plugins folder in your server, whether it be spigot, bucket, sponge, or bungee cord. It doesn't really matter as long as it's some plugin based thingy. And yeah, so I'm just looking at this thing right now. I'm in my creative world right now on SubioCraft, which is my official subscriber server and the IP address is play.subiocraft.net and yeah i just found this very interesting little shrine that someone made for me and it's pretty funny all of these commands use slash co as their first thingy that you can type in and if you do that it teaches you all of the different things you can do so the first thing we're gonna want to do is uh, we're gonna have to break this thing because that's the whole point of this plugin is to detect griefing okay so i've messed this thing up pretty badly so if i do slash co inspect is the newest command that i have in this tutorial all right so what we're gonna do we get a block and we try to place it in a spot where someone might have broken something so for example right here as you can see it says 0.1 hours ago 30 virus removed stained clay so it says who did what so i could go here and again removed redstone lamp coal blocks so obviously it knows who broke what say you find this right maybe four hours ago someone did this completely destroyed your sign and you're very mad so <laughs> what you can do is slash co roll back and then there's a couple things you could put in here so there's r which is radius so let's set that to 100 and then we have the user uh, thing so u colon and then we have of course the user so if we want to specifically identify a specific user so for example 30 virus then we could do that t which is the next one which is time so i think this is in minutes actually it doesn't matter what it's in because you can set what it is so we could do slash 10 we could do 10 minutes so all the things that 30 virus did in a 100 block radius in the past 10 minutes will be rolled back that's a lot of words and i'm going to copy the command because that's complicated boom and there we go i rolled back using the co rollback command and as you can see everything is back to its wonderful self now what we can do with this plugin this is very powerful i can get rid of u30 virus so if i did that it will undo everything that happened in this world no matter who did it or what did it it doesn't even need to be a player like maybe lightning struck your house and it burned down you don't need that alias there so it could just be radius 100 time 10 minutes or 10 hours or 10 days it's a very powerful plugin and there's a lot of things just this rollback command alone is enough to like just completely undo an entire person's existence on the server if you wanted to you can use slash co rollback user 30 virus and then you could do time we could do a thousand days so three years practically we can do that and then radius i think we can do global but i'm not going to do that for obvious reasons since i built this server i don't want everything to just randomly disappear okay so now that i've enabled the inspector let's go check out some of the spots that i damaged before so boom no block data and boom now it's crossed out because it's been undone let's go to the factions world i have co inspect on so i could go boop and then this guy, this guy named Han the Man placed cobblestone 50 hours ago. So this could be very overpowered in factions because you could figure out who lives where. And yeah, and if I really wanted to be a jerk about it, I could undo. Every, actually, you know what? Let's do it just for example purposes. And then I'll bring it back. Radius, let's do 10 just so we don't destroy everything he's done. 50 hours. So here we go. T colon 50 hours. There we go. And there we go. It literally just disappeared. And now he's probably going to be like, wait, I don't even know. I don't think he's online. So then I could do slash CO, I think restore radius 10 time 50 hours. And then there we go. It came right back 
as if I didn't even touch it. So then what I could do, I could click right here and everything's back to normal. All Gucci, no one, no one got their stuff deleted. So I'm just gonna run away from there. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. There's more things you can do in this plugin, but that is the basics of it. I'll be leaving the documentation for this plugin in the description down below if you want to investigate a little bit further. And I'm also going to leave a download link to the plugin itself. So leave a like down below if you enjoyed this simple tutorial and if you want to see more. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.